All right, so we've talked about LIFO and FIFO. One aspect that comes up frequently is understanding what happens in inflationary and deflationary time periods with respect to LIFO and FIFO. If prices are going up or down, it will impact what, how, what gets reported in LIFO and FIFO. And it turns out prices are always going up or down. And so we need to understand how these changes in prices impact the income statement and the balance sheet. This brief video will kind of, kind of provide a high level of that. So here's our example. And this is a period of, decline, of inclining prices where inflation is happening, where we purchased bananas in our prior video. We purchased bananas for 10 cents and then the price went up to 90 cents and we sold them for $2 on the market. So we bought them for 10 uh, and, they went up, and then we bought some more for 90 cents and then we sold them for $2. The different inventory management assumptions we used for how the inventory is flowing through was first FIFO, next LIFO, and then the weighted average cost. Based on George Michael being organized and always taking the oldest first, we said George Michael was probably a character that represented FIFO where he's taking the oldest inventory, selling that first to get it out so that it can cycle through, uh, so we can cycle through all our bananas. Job, the guy in the banana, he's lazy. He doesn't do that. He always uh, just grabs what's easiest and he grabs from if you imagine this bit freezer, the banana freezer we have, he just grabs what's on top, dips that. And so if we just always put new bananas on top that we buy, Job never gets to the bottom of the freezer. Whereas George Michael gets to the bottom and picks it up. And then Buster Bluth, uh, especially when he's drinking juice, uh, Buster Bluth is a little crazy. And so he'll grab from the top, he'll grab from the bottom, he'll grab from the middle. He's just kind of all over the place. So let's talk about FIFO. FIFO, if we look at these, uh, these examples, FIFO, first in, first out, is at one extreme when we have inflation. And how it works is that you have one of FIFO or LIFO at the extreme on inflation or deflation, and weighted average cost is always in the middle. Uh, weighted average cost is always somewhere in the middle between FIFO and LIFO, depending on where the pricing is. Uh, weighted average cost is in between the two. So really, when we're talking here, we're trying to determine the difference between FIFO and LIFO. Well, FIFO in periods of increasing costs, you're taking first in, first out. So that means your oldest inventory is coming out first and your profit is always going to be higher in those periods, uh, long periods of increasing prices. Uh, your, your profit will be higher under FIFO. So periods of increasing prices, FIFO, because it's taking that lower cost and always putting it out first on the income statement, whereas LIFO is taking the most current costs and putting it on, if you have increasing prices, the most current prices are the highest. And so those will end up on the income statement for Joe, but they won't end up on the income statement for George Michael. George Michael always takes from this bottom. If we look at Job, Job is always taking those most current prices that are high in periods of inflation. And so as a result, his profit is lower. His profit will be lower than under FIFO because the prices are increasing over time. And it's pretty easy to look at this and understand what will happen in deflation because we have just two bananas bought it, two sets of bananas bought at two different times. If we just flip it and we could just look at this and flip it, well, what will happen with the profits? Well, the profits would flip too. And so if we flipped it, it would be a deflationary period where we bought our first bananas at 90 cents and then our next set of bananas at 10 cents. And if we did this, then we'd have the opposite effect. We'd have LIFO with a gross profit of 1,000. 900 instead of the 1,100 it has. And then FIFO would change from the 1,900 to the 1,100. And so you can see how if we have periods of inflation, LIFO is grabbing this, this more expensive inventory for inflation and putting it on the income statement. And so your profit's going to be lower on the income statement. So in, in deflationary periods, LIFO flips. Instead of the most current prices being the highest, the most current prices are now the lowest because we have prices going down over time. And so when the prices are going down over time, that low amount from LIFO is what's put on there. And so you'll have more profitability in deflationary periods under LIFO. And again, weighted average cost, weighted average cost is always gonna be in between them because it's just a smoothing peanut butter mechanism for smoothing out costs across all uh, uh, all the inventory items. People kind of enjoy weighted average cost for that reason and, and the simplicity in it. 
Um, but generally, we have to really think about what's going on economically when we go to uh, FIFO and LIFO because we might be inflationary, deflationary time periods. So this is a quick little chart, chart that kind of tells you what it is. Under FIFO, it assumes that the earliest items were purchased were sold first, and then cost of goods sold will be lowest under FIFO. That means that the oldest items are going to be sold first. That means that in inflationary periods, that'll mean it's it's uh, it's you know it'll it'll be lower. Any inventory uh, when prices are rising relative to uh, the other two methods, it'll be higher, right? So the ending inventory is going to be higher. Cost of real goods sold and inventory will be higher when relative to the other. So if you go to, go to LIFO, it assumes the most recent items purchased were sold first, all right? So it'll have the highest cost of goods sold and the lowest ending inventory on the balance sheet. So cost of goods sold on the income statement, if that's higher, it's going to mean you're going to have a lower margin lower uh, lower margin on there. And so uh, there's a little star and asterisk on here. And LIFO, you could always have, you know, you could have a LIFO liquidation where you blow through all the old inventory, which could change things a little bit. But generally speaking, this is what we'd see at, at, at a reoccurring level of inventory that is, is regular over time. And then the average cost is in the middle and it just takes a peanut butter approach for all of them. And that's a summary of what happens during inflationary and deflationary periods under LIFO, FIFO, and weighted average cost.